Hello, everybody. Today, we'll continue Markov chains by birth and death process. A birth-death process is a continuous time Markov chain that counts the number of art particles or in our system, queuing system, will be customers in a system over time. Each particle can give birth to another particle or die. The rate of birth and death at any given time depends on how many existing particles. Birth death processes are popular modeling tools in evolution, population biology, genetics, and others in biological process. Review, Markov properties, future is independent of past, given present, okay? So the future and the past are independent, but the future depend on present. So this called memory less. We have seen memory less distributions before, like exponential distribution and geometric distribution, they are memory less distribution. Useful, these memory less distributions are useful for modeling and analyzing real state systems. We'll see that. Birth death process. Assume we have a jar or whatever. Birth process with lambda rate add process, death process with the mu rate decrease the process. So we have birth process and death process. Birth process, we increase a customer or particles or node or whatever. Death process will decrease in, out, in, out. So the probability PIT is probability of being in state I at time T. The transition probability PIJ in Markov chain, the matrix, the matrix probability PIJ do not change with time. So it's fixed, like lecture before. The same matrix, we multiply it by itself. So this is the rule to analyze the birth death process. In the queuing theory models, birth are a customer arrival to the system, a new customer arrive, it's called birth. And death, a customer departure from the system. Okay? So in the queuing theory model, we'll use birth as customer arrival, a new customers in, death, customer departure from the system the customer out from the system, okay? So today, this lecture will focus only at the external of theorem model. Example here, if you have one dimensional random walk, you are at time X, okay? You want to step forward or step backward. So the walker flips a coin flips a coin, every time to decide which way to go. So the probability of coin will be how? Probability of coins, head and tail. So probability will be half, half. Here, we are, you are at time T at XT, at this location will be xt plus one if you get probability p, example hat, 50%, or the negation, one minus p, xt minus one. So you are at node or at state x or state i, you want to the same in state transition diagram of birth death the same thing. Example, 
We started by node zero. We are here. We are here. We'll get birth to state one by rate lambda zero. And from one to two, this is present. This is the future. This is the past. So one, node one will be the present. Node two will be the future. Node zero will be the past. So two is independent of the past, but dependent on the present. This is Markov chain, okay, but using birth, death process in Markov chain. So you are at node zero. The node one, the future of you will be the, with rate lambda zero. Node two, lambda one, lambda two, lambda three, till I. So you got lambda I minus one from previous node, I minus one, and, and lambda I will be the next step. Okay, this is lambda will be the birth nodes. In contrast, we have another, if we, if we have, if we have, death process will be in opposite way. Example here, one will be mu one. So if you want to remove one node, death one node, you get to, to return to zero. So with rate mu one, okay? Here from two to one, mu two and so on. Till I, you get mu I plus one and from I to I minus one, mu I. So lambda I called birth rate in state I, like here, lambda I, birth rate in state i. To get i plus one with rate lambda i. Mu i, death rate, you are at node i, mu i will be death rate in state i. So focus on this node. xt, the number in the system at time t, which is equal birth, birth here, minus death in zero, to time t, in zero to time t. So the probability pit will be equal, probability of xt equal i at node i will be probability of the system in state i at time t, the same as before. With, with condition here, with the sum of all probabilities must be equal to call it birth, death, mark of chain must every pi here every pi must the sum of them must be equal to one must be okay to call it birth death markov chain okay uh, any question in this slide we'll take an, a, an example of course any 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 question here no oh good now, the flow balance method. Draw a closed boundary at anywhere, okay? Observe all flow in, flow in, circle, and flow out, the circle, across the boundary. Given that the equation to be balanced must be flow out equal flow in, example. At node zero, we have only two flows, mu zero out, sorry, lambda zero out, mu one in. So by equation, the probability mu zero, probability of zero equal mu one, probability of one. Lambda zero P zero equal mu one P one. P one because mu one out from node one here. We have here node one. So we draw a closed boundary around this node. Every flow out equal every flow, all of the flows in with their probabilities. So at node zero, we have lambda zero P zero, lambda zero given P zero, okay, probability of zero, equal mu one death. Here we have that mu1, p1 from node 1. So in general, at node i, we have two flow out, 
and two flow in. So out equal to n. The out will be lambda i plus mu i times probability of i equal here la, mu one plus one from probability i plus one plus here lambda i minus one from probability i minus one from previous node here from future node okay so to this called flow balance method okay to calculate some parameters later okay now a pure birth system has only lambdas without the news only a new 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 node new node new node creating birth birth it's called the pure birth system here we have some assumption to get mu k will be equal to zero no death here only creation no death we assume lambda k's lambda zero lambda one lambda two all equal to lambda we assume that assumption here so the system begins at time zero with zero member we have only one node here so the probability will be one here else will be zero the probability at node one without creating any node will be one from some mathematical equation we get p0 t equal e power minus lambda t okay at for k equal to one we get this for k positive we get the equation of poisson distribution lambda t power k e minus lambda t over k factorial so as you can see if we have pure birth system only customers n okay this distribution another method to prove it is poisson distribution as you can see so it's another proof that the customers are rival in poisson distribution okay it's another proof in the previous lecture we proved that the poisson distribution is at the boundaries of lambda t as you can remember so it's another proof that the poisson distribution will be the best for customers arrival exam review poisson process it's the arrival of customers lambda the average rate that customers arrives pkt probability that k arrival occur during from zero to t. K, number of arrival in the interval t, customers. The average number of arrival in any interval time, it's called expected value. What is the expected value of this system of Poisson process? Okay, by calculation, because we have the, the properties, summation of K, probabilities of K is, equal to one, the summation. So after math calculation, we get lambda t again. So this is the proof of the expected number for Poisson process is lambda t. Any question here? Example here, pure birth process will be like cell division in biology. Every cell divided by two. Every cell at time one example, at time two divided by two, at time three or four divided by four. two power two is at four, and so on, two power n, two power n. So this is called pure birth process example. That's why the birth process and death process used in biology, because we have cell, cells divided by two every time, every cell divided by two, okay? The inverse will be a pure death system. A pure death system will be the inverse. We have only mu's, not lambdas. Okay, example here, in microbial, a bacteria that causes disease, risk analysis. When 
we kill the bacteria in the body. They they death one by one. Okay, this is the example. Here we assume again, we assumption again that lambda k is equal to zero. Mu one equal mu two equal mu three equal mu four. Assumption here to equal all equal to mu positive. So the system begins with n number members from one to n. By some calculation, we get this equation called Erlang distribution. Okay, we don't uh, will not use this in in uh, queuing system. We'll use only Poisson distribution. Okay. Any question here? End of lecture. Okay. Any question? Any question? No, doctor. No. Good. Okay. I will stop.